Hey geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today taking a look at how to fix an incorrect date or time with your Windows clock down here where the date or the time is not correct. It's uh, probably got five or six different things you're going to have to look at. Nothing too complicated. You should be able to do this at any skill level. We will start by verifying your date and time settings. One of the easier ways to get there beyond search is to go to your control panel. And in your control panel you should easily find time and language and you're right here at the window. Uh, I have the guide here in the background. I will link to this guide so you can follow this video and this guide either or on the page. That's up to you. There's a couple settings we want to look at here. Set the time automatically should be on. Set the time zone automatically should be off assuming you have your correct time zone right here. You have daylight savings time. Most of us in the States do. We want to turn that on as well. Also there's right here change date and time if you are able to click that go ahead and do so to try and change it and see if that helps that is the simplest check just to make sure everything's set up the way you want it the next one's to check to see if the windows time service is running so we'll do that by pressing the windows key plus r and type in services dot msc and your services will come up and you want to scroll down to windows time there it is double click that you're looking for two things here. Your startup type if, type, if it's at manual, should be automatic. And your service should be running. So you see what I just did there. I hit the drop down, chose automatic, and then I hit start. So this is what you should be seeing. So if everything's okay, it says running and it says automatic. So if you've got that, you're fine. If you don't, change it and click apply. Okay, and your clock should be good to go. Now we get a little more complicated, however, really if you've never used a command prompt before, this is pretty easy and harmless. So if you haven't used a command prompt, don't uh, be worried about it. Press the uh, Windows key plus X in Windows 10 and you can click PowerShell as admin. Windows 7 or everybody else can find it under, that's, I think it's start under accessories under here. Let me see here, Windows accessories, nope, administrative tools. Nope. See, I don't even know what I'm doing sometimes. Let it make you feel a little better. Not make me feel any better. There it is. Windows System. Then you're able to right click it and more run as administrator. A little different in 7, but you'll find it from there. So we have the command prompt open. I'm not going to go through all of this, but just to give you an idea, what we're doing is we're going to re-register the Windows Time DLL and we're going to also re-register the Windows Time process. This does help a lot of people. So what you want to do is just highlight this line here, press copy, control V will paste it in and press enter and you should get that message. Now on the next one, I don't remember, I'll have to look. Yes, you won't get any messages, but you're going to want to type in, I believe we have three lines here, one at a time. So we're going to start with that, control V. And if it says the Windows time service is already running, which you can see in my screenshot here, or it's not started, if you get that message, don't worry about it, continue on. Right click that one and copy. Right click that one and copy, and do them one at a time in Command Prompt or the PowerShell until you're done and see if your clock is fixed. And we're almost there. Sadly, I forgot myself, it's even in my own guide, don't close PowerShell. Windows key plus X, PowerShell. We got one more we can do. Again, it's relatively harmless. Go ahead and force Windows to sync the time. So this takes a little bit longer. You're going to have to copy and paste each one. by. And you can see it stops the clock. Unregister, register, sync the clock. And that might fix it too. So once that's done, see if your clock is working correctly. Next up, I'm not a big fan of this one. As we move down the list, we kind of get the stuff that I really find less likely to help you and hopefully you already are helped. Once again we're going to go back to the time and language and I believe date time I'm in regional formatting might be no it's not there see sometimes I need my own guide oh the clock see don't know what I'm doing you're looking here if you right click on your clock for adjust date and time now we want to scroll down. That's where my confusion was right there. That's where I thought I was. Scroll down and click on add clocks for different time zones. I'm not a big fan. 
right here. Now Windows 10 only has a couple of them. I think Windows 7 used to be able to edit and choose your own, but it's, it's really just not a good idea. Here's your internet time. For the most part, once you click the internet time tab, as you can see, you should be set to automatically synchronize. And if you are, you probably should leave it alone. It's been there forever. Maybe it's down once in a while and that's your problem, but so you can choose whatever is available here. On um, both of my PCs, I've only seen the two. So if you want to try the other one, you're welcome to. It's worth a shot. And double check that synchronize with an internet time server is checked. And that's it for that one. And last but not least, I can't do anything on the video with you, but I can show you a picture. If the clock, if, if the computer you're working on has been sitting in the closet for a while, has been off for years, maybe the battery on your motherboard is gone. Most of them, this is your most common battery, the 2032. They are watch batteries, just like you see in the, the drugstore, hardware stores, anywhere you see batteries. And basically, don't be too afraid of it, especially on the desktop. If you remove the cover and look, you can't miss a big fat watch battery laying there for no reason. Well, there's a reason, but you know what I'm saying. So you, there'll be a little tab right here, and you push that tab back, and the battery pops out. And put a new battery in the way it is. So once again, number five and six are kind of the least likely to help you, but I'm still desperate, and I need to try something. So hopefully we fixed your problem with your clock. There you go. As always, thanks for watching. The little subscribe button down here in the right corner should be popping up right about now, if not already. And uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.